Manish, great to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, the Resident is in its fourth season in the States, but we are finally getting to watch it here thanks to Disney Plus and Star. How does right. it feel for you to get another um, audience? Uh, it feels great. I want you guys to have the show. I want you to see the show because this this show talks about themes and subjects and um, people and culture and love and everything that everyone on this globe can relate to. It is a show that I think unites people, and I'm really thrilled that you guys are getting it now. Anytime a medical drama is mentioned, people can't help themselves, myself included, and they start reeling off names like Grey's Anatomy, um, House. How is this different? Why does this stand out, especially for you? You know, I think our show is very different. It's a little bit um, darker. It's a little grittier. Um, it's not as a, so much as a soap. We really focus on... Uh, healthcare. We talk about what the politics of medicine. We talk about doctors in different stages of their careers and how they practice medicine very differently. Um, I think we really pull back the curtain and we are unapologetic about it. And I think that that's what makes our show, you know, distinct and different. Um, I think we also talk about a lot of themes that are happening, you know, in the world and. Um, there's also these elements of characters who are falling in love and uh, what their what their dramas are like. My character goes through just a a wild ride when it comes to his love life, and some characters are a bit more stable in terms of their love life. So you get to follow their journeys and understand who they are and how that affects what they do at work. So I think it's pretty dynamic in that way. Anytime I watch a medical drama, I'm so in awe of the actors because I. I wonder how you can deliver such a flawless performance when you are having to re remember such tough technical terms. Like anytime I need to remember something, I look constipated. How do you do it? <laughs> Just effortless, effortlessly. I can't even no, it. It's not effortless. I can guarantee <laughs> that. It's tough. And we probably yeah. look constipated too. But, um, <laughs> you know, they take the best takes. But I think <laughs> it's just really about rehearsing. And for me personally, when I am – faced with a challenging word or, or a piece of dialogue, understanding what it is helps me. So um, uh, understanding what that terminology um, means and how it's applied to whatever operation or surgery that we're doing helps me pronounce the word, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. I think the more understanding you have of what you're saying, even though it's foreign to you, because you can say a, a sentence in a foreign language and not know what it really means. But knowing what it means will help you articulate the sentence better, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's really just about understanding what you're saying and um, even visualizing it for me. So I actually go to YouTube a lot and watch what I'm actually saying. That way I can visualize it. And then what about when you have to do it and there's the close-up on your hands stitching someone up? Like what is the toughest um, procedure for you to get down pat? You know, we do a lot of uh, close cuts and we do have medical advisors on set that help us and uh, tell us what to do, where to put our hands, how to hold things, w which way to move, where to stand and, and what these operations are really about. Uh, I still think that the central line might be the most challenging um, uh, operation that uh, we do on screen because it's, it's pretty specific. It's pretty um, nuanced, I think. And I've done it two or three times on the show and um yeah, there's sort of, you do get, you do get it, you do commit it to memory to some degree. So I think that's, that's what I would say. I know your family and friends know you're an actor and you're not a real doctor, but <laughs> given that, you know, you are doing all this studying, have you found that people are coming to you and going, do you know anything about this? Should I seek advice from a doctor or do you reckon I'll be fine? I think, I think they know. I mean, I might get the odd question <laughs> here or there, but mostly uh, I do have two doctors in my family already, so they they will uh, take the uh, answers to all questions. So I usually punt any questions that I get about um, medicine to them. That is dead handy for work and for life. <laughs> so yeah, if I, can ever, if I can ever get some of their free time when they're on call, but it's always just about I send them a text. Hey, what does this mean? How do I say this? Can you explain this? And boom, I get an answer. So it is it is super helpful. And finally, what do you have? to say to all the new audiences who are about to discover The Resident? 
I would say that I can't wait for you guys to see this show. It is a, a show that will take you on a wild and explosive ride, and you will get to know and love these characters and their journeys and what they bring to a hospital. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, I cannot wait. Manish, thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us. Thank you.